How much further could UK interest rates fall over the coming months? That's the question investors are asking ahead of the Bank of England's next meeting on the 7th of November. In August, policymakers lowered borrowing costs for the first time since March 2020, but they decided to hold rates in September as they took a more gradual approach. But last night, Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey injected some more optimism for markets by saying inflation had fallen faster than the bank had expected. The comments hinted that the bank could make its second rate cut of the year in November, following in the footsteps of other Western central banks. Speaking in Washington, Bailey said central banks around the world were seeing a good story on inflation and that disinflation had, quote, actually taken place faster than we expected it to. Latest official figures show UK inflation fell below 2% for the first time since April 2021 in September, having peaked at more than 11% two years earlier. Bailey said the UK had a very unbalanced mix of inflation components and that services inflation remained higher than is consistent with its target. Services inflation eased significantly in September to 4.9% from 5.6%, but this was largely driven by volatile movements like a 35% drop in airfares. Bailey said there were still genuine question marks about whether there had been some structural changes in the economy and that services inflation needed to come down further. For more on the story, visit cityam.com and follow us on socials.